Have you ever wondered how astronauts answer nature's call when they're on the moon? The gravity is one-sixth that of Earth, and there are no toilets. So earlier, astronauts had to wear diapers on the moon. But as NASA prepares to send humans to the moon again, astronauts say they do not want to go back to old ways. So NASA is now looking for lunar loos, and there's a prize money of $35,000 for those who can help design it. Space travel can be very glamorous, but defecating and urinating up there, not so much. Do you know why? Because there's no gravity. So everything, literally everything, floats. It does not automatically fall on the ground like it does on the Earth. The moon is quite a challenge too. It has one-sixth the gravity of the Earth, which means drop an apple and it won't fall as fast. And there are no exceptions. So what do astronauts do when they land on the moon? How do they answer nature's call? December 1972 was the last time humans landed on the moon. They were wearing diapers. All astronauts on board the Apollo missions had to pee into roll-on cuffs and poop into bags. This is 2020. And the US is preparing to send astronauts to the moon again. But the astronauts do not want to go back to using poop bags. And they're pretty adamant on this. So facing NASA now is a big, big challenge. It needs a lunar loo. NASA is offering $35,000 to those who help in designing it. What are the requirements? The loo will need to work in zero gravity space, as well as on the moon. They must be female friendly. FYI, the first space bathrooms were made men only on purpose. It serves for two functions. Number two, right here. I'll show you. But you see it's pretty small, so you have to have pretty good aim and you'll be ready to make sure things get let go the right direction. And it smells a little bit, so I'm closing it up. And that's, of course, for number two. And this guy right here is for number one. So they're sort of two slightly separate functions, but you can do a little, essentially both, by hanging on right here and doing number one and number two. The Artemis lunar toilets should be able to support a crew of two astronauts for 14 days. They should be easy to clean and maintain. The turnaround time should be five minutes. Power consumption, less than 70 watts. Weight, less than 33 pounds on Earth. Volume, 0.12 cubic meters or less. So if you design a toilet keeping all the above in mind, do you get $35,000? Not really. The top prize is $20,000. The runner-up gets $10,000 and there is $5,000 for the third position. In case you're planning to run for this, we can help you get an edge. There are bonus points for designs that can capture vomit without requiring the crew member to put his or her head in the toilet. Go figure. And before you do that, mark August 17th on your calendar as the deadline for entries. Happy designing. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.